But we must begin to understand that in a concept of forming inside our community a united front, a black united front, which engulfs every sector, every facet, and every person inside our community working for the benefit of black people. That was a nice little working. incident last week. All right, um, so on behalf of the All African People's Revolutionary Party, actually I'll make the mic. Okay, on behalf of the All African People's Revolutionary Party, certainly we extend our condolences and tribute to our comrade Geronimo. But what we must do today is understand why our comrade was incarcerated illegally for 27 years. We stand here and we want to pay tribute to this African, but we must understand that he was incarcerated for 27 years in the prison industrial complex within the United States of America. And let's ask ourselves, what do the pigs, what do the military, and what does the prison industrial complex do? It controls the interests of the 5% of the population, which controls 95% of the resources. So let's ask ourselves, how many of us in this room are in that 5%? I sure know I ain't. Right? Which means that the pigs, the military, and who? The prison industrial complex is created and functions in order to what? Control us. Right? So not only is the prison industrial complex, which wrongly incarcerated this African for 27 years, created to control us, it's also what? A multi billion dollar organization. Okay? So, but what do those multi-billion dollars do? They feed into what? The capitalist system, which does what? Feeds into the 5% of the population which controls the resources. The resources like from the Congo, where you have coltan, everyone has a flashy cell phone, right? If we didn't have coltan, you couldn't have a cell phone. So, let's, re let's review. Brother Geronimo, Brother Mumia, Brother Little Peltier, millions and millions of other Africans, incarcerated in the prison industrial complex in order to feed into capitalist America, right? In order to feed into 5% so that the people will be asleep. Because when you're locked up, you're asleep, right? When they tell you when to go to the restroom, when they tell you when to eat, when they tell you when to wake up, you're asleep. What do you do when you're locked up? You fight for your life, right? So you're sharpening up a little shankaroo, because somebody may come for you, right? So while you're sharpening up a shank of roof, you don't have no time to sharpen up your mind. But let's ask ourselves, did our comrade Geronimo do that? Yes, he did. While he was locked up, he formed study groups. They read Chang to death. Why did they do that? They did that so they could transform their ideology from one of a capitalist ideology, one where it's rampant individualism, there's free market, right? And what is it? Overall exploitation to one that's collective, one that's pro-African. Because be clear, the capitalist ideology is anti-African. Yes, that's right. Right? Let's be clear. Now, I know we're running out of time, and I could be a little long-winded, so be clear, I'm coming. I'm coming, African. This African got released. He said, you know what? I've been in an organization since I, can, since I can remember. Why would I not be in an organization now? This African was in an organization from his early teens until the day he made his transition. So what does that say to us in this room? It says we must be in an organization, African. You know why? Because be clear, the enemy is organized. Be clear, organized and disciplined. We sleep up in this camp, getting some Z's, Getting our hair done, making sure our toes are tight, and what is the enemy doing? Organizing. So while we're primping and propping, you feel me? You feel me? The enemy is organizing to keep us all pressed. So the only way in which we will be free as African people is to what? Organize. But we must not just organize, because be clear, we can organize, right? Something happens, what do we do? We run, we pick it, right? After that is done, we walk away. You hear me though? We need permanent organizations to tear down this capitalist system. I'm coming, I'm coming. Now lastly, what I want to say about my comrade Geronimo
Paul. He was clear where his home was. He knew America was not his home. He made his transition on the African continent. He knew that as soon as Africa would be free, African people around the world would be free. He was not confused. So we must not be confused. We must not be confused, Africans. When Africa is free, we will be free. Let me give you a quick example, and I'm closing up. China, ask yourself, how many of the quote unquote United States of America prison population is Chinese? Anybody know the percentage? Anybody know the number? Less than 1%. Uh oh, what is the percentage of African people that are incarcerated in the U.S.? Over 50%. But we make up 13% of the population. Why is that? Because be clear, China will buck up in your face. And to what does China say? Get your hands up off of my people. What does Africa say? Master, oh master, please, oh master, please give me some money. We must liberate our land and our resources. The only way that we will liberate our land and our resources is to unify. The only way that we will unify is to organize. So the, what, if you don't learn anything tonight, join an organization that is fighting for the liberation of Africa and African people. Forward on behalf of the All African People's Revolutionary.